Okay, so today's the day that I'm building a door, a half door, to block. Oh, uh, see, here he is. Here's the culprit. That's him right there. Hello, sheep. Okay, we have an issue with the dogs going down to the basement and not being supervised and, of course, engaging in a whole bunch of mischievous activities. So, um, this is the back door that gets to the deck. I have a glass door right here that's propped open and then staircase that goes to the kitchen. Um, I want to do a half door right here, not a full door because, you know, there's this panel here that goes down just to stop the dogs from going downstairs being unsupervised they can be downstairs with us however because we have a family room down in the basement but um i don't want them by themselves without being supervised so what i'm going to do is add a panel here for support and another one here for support and i plan on leaving probably like a four inch um height so that the cat can still go down. We have one cat that's super skinny and um, is an adult size. So she'll be able to either jump over or uh, crawl underneath, but at least she'll have access to a little box. So let me show you my supplies and then um, hopefully I can give you an actual DIY project. And of course today's the day my neighbor decided to use his compressor. So I'm sorry for the background noise. So what do I have here? I have a 33 inch by 33 inch plywood uh, plate or piece whatever you want to call it and then I have those pine trims that I have um, had cut at the Home Depot um, to size and to my absolute horror of course this is the kind of work that the Home Depot is capable of producing these days he completely messed up my um, measurements and I measured at least twice if not three times before I gave it to him and he messed that up so right now they're not um, put together and so what I'm going to do is use wood glue to adhere my pine pieces to the plywood and then make sure that they are um, fixed properly by using finishing nails and that would be the panel once that's dry I'm going to do the rest of the project Here's the glue that I'm using. I'm using Gorilla wood glue and I'm going to put it right here where my piece of pine is going to be uh, placed and then I'll use the finishing nails. Putting the glue right here. Just make sure I have enough. And I'm gonna add some over here as well now I'm a righty so I'm trying to do this with my left hand which right now is not a problem because that's not a difficult task but I'm trying to show you at the same time so it's not that easy all right here we go let's place that piece right where it belongs I want to make sure that it's nice and flushed here and here and here so at least this is properly measured press on it a little bit and I'm gonna use my nails to make sure that it's nicely in place so I tried um, these nails they are um, finishing nails and they absolutely will not go through so forget about this we're gonna use the flat heads and I'm using grip right fasteners and they are galvanized exterior nails doesn't really matter if it's exterior or interior but that should do the trick so here we go sorry about the noise Okay, let's get another one right here. Make sure you can see right here. Okay. okay, door's done. I'm gonna have to do some serious patchwork right here with putty because again, um, Home Depot 
apparently doesn't have anybody that can measure and cut properly. So we have nails all around. Oh, here's the second one. Yeah, you're the culprit too. Electra, yes you are. You a problem child. Yes you are, you good girl. I love you. All right, so I'm gonna do the hinges on the back of it because that's the front and the hinges are gonna be, yes, on, on the back. And uh, we'll see what that go how that goes and then uh, we'll do the panels on the side and I think we'll be ready to uh, fix it. And I still don't know if I want to paint it in white or if I want to stain it some kind of, um, I don't know, like reddish varnish. We'll see. I'm thinking about it. So for hinges, I bought those door hinges, um, four inch. I guess that's the width of the plate and it's a pack of three. It comes with the screws. I got them at Home Depot. I think this was $9.98. And uh, yes, I see you too. Yes, okay. That door's for you as well. Um, and what I'm going to do is I put a, a hinge here, one in the middle and one over there because this is a heavy door and I want to make sure that I get plenty of support. So wherever I want to put a hinge, basically all I did was put it like this to the side, making sure that the actual hinge is on the outside and use a pen to mark the holes here and here and here and I'm going to, I did it over here and I did it on the top over there. And what I'm going to do is pre-drill those just a little bit so that I can go ahead and um, screw directly into the panel because I don't want to uh, ruin the screw or strip them. anywhere next so for the side of my door right here um, I already have this door frame that I really don't want to remove and I also don't want to damage it so if I was to put the hinges directly onto it what would happen is probably this right here this little groove would get damaged from the hinge and then the screws would start moving and whatnot and it would damage the wood so instead I'm gonna put this one piece of pine wood and I don't know if you can see it right here and it's just a little bit over so that gives plenty of give um, or plenty of space for my hinges it's above the ground because I have this stupid thing right here. I don't even know what it is um, that allows me to put the door a little bit higher so there's space for the cap to go underneath but not enough for the dogs to go so I'm going to use deck screws and just go ahead and screw this one panel on the side and uh, hopefully this will work I don't know um, yeah the door is supposed to open this way not towards the outside it opens over the staircase I guess all right, well, that worked very well, and it actually was pretty easy. See, the great thing about deck screws is that they, if the more you push them in, the more they kind of sink, and you can actually just put putty over it, and then they just disappear. You don't see them. So this is pretty solid. This is going to give plenty of support to my door without damaging the frame here, so I'm happy. What I'm going to do now is that I'm marked where the hinges are going to be, and I'm just going to remove one of the hinges from the door and use it as a template for the screws and get going and fix those. Um, I hope this works. 
I had to remove these hinges because I inverted them and so when you invert them the holes are not in the same place so I had to uh, re-drill them and right now I'm screwing the hinges on the door in order to hold the door together I have cigar boxes that are actually the right length and I did put a lever a level here so it is perfectly level and there's just enough space right here so that I can put on the other side one of those little hook thing I don't know how you call it um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and continue to screw those and to be honest this is the hard part because I have this here that I don't want to remove and I can't use um, the drill to do that for some reason on this area because of the proximity of the wall so anyway you get the idea let me finish that and then I'll show you the finished product and it worked here we go barn door and swings this way right there the hinges are over here I don't know if you can see them and enough space at the bottom for the cat yeah definitely enough space and the dogs will not go downstairs anymore so all I have to do now is put the little hinge thing over here it's done here we go barn door half barn door um, and here's the stairs go to the basement and have the little hinge thing and the door opens this way right and it won't open that way instead because I placed I because I put the um, hinges upside down and then close it right here and that's it no more dogs downstairs without permission excellent I like it I'm actually put something here with a little basket so we can put knickknacks or whatnot um, before heading out to the basement. That's my project.